Well, I'd like to welcome uh, back uh, Daniel Barrett, who was with us about a year ago. He is with Kids Give to Kids, and we've got a couple different things we want to talk about today. Welcome back. Thank you very much for having us. Yes. And uh, the first thing you said you wanted to talk about is a um, special thing you're doing here just for the village as a way to uh, gather toys uh, for kids. And this is going to be happening right over here at Ruby's Restaurant. Yeah. So. Just like last year, we had uh, 300 boxes all over Orange County collecting mm -hmm. toys. We actually raised over $40,000 worth of toys last year. And uh, this year, I wanted to be, because of what you guys do for me and for us, that I wanted to do a little bit of an exclusive with the village. So Ruby's uh, offered to give 15% off their bill when they bring in a toy and mention mm -hmm. that they're from the village. Very good. And so when will this promotion start? So it starts November 1st okay. all the way through uh, December 24th. Very good. So they can go in multiple times and bring in a toy and get 15% off of it. All their, right. And we want to make sure it's the Rubies located here. So one located at the mall right across okay. the street from the village. So it, it's easy access. And they don't have to use it at that moment. They could just bring in a toy and get a voucher to use in another time All right. of day. Very good. So let's talk about Kids Give to Kids in general. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different organizations that collect toys for kids, of course, especially as we get into the holiday season. So tell us how you're different. So how I feel that we're different is we actually created an app. Mm -hmm. So the app is powering Kids Give to Kids in a way that it's never been powered before. So every organization out there primarily gives toys to kids mm -hmm. and the toys that are given aren't aren't chosen they're just accepted because okay. the kids are less fortunate so they say oh well it's better to get something than nothing mm -hmm. with our app we actually created the app to where kids actually for the first time in their lives get to choose their own toys okay but it's also all year round so kids can actually take their used toys that they don't play with put onto the app where other kids can go ahead and choose those toys okay so instead of putting toys in a bag and taking them to goodwill and dropping them off this ex experience gives the kids at a younger age a real experience of giving. So how does the app work? And we should say that the app is called Kspire. So the app is called Kspire. So we okay. took the word Inspire, okay. took the I-N off and replaced it with K for kids. So if you look at our website, you can see the logo. It kind of looks like a shield, like a superhero mm -hmm. shield. Um, so primarily how it works is I like to say we're the we, we, we app. Mm -hmm. That means everybody that's involved with our app, it helps everybody. So okay. we have local restaurants and businesses that are on board with us and they become the distribution power of the toy. So when a kid brings in a toy, then the restaurant gives that kid a free kid's meal. Mm -hmm. And when the kid comes to pick up their toy, the restaurant gives that kid a free kid's meal, which makes every kid equal based on sharing, no longer okay. based on less fortunate versus fortunate. So are you saying that someone goes on the app and there's a list of, of wanted items from certain kids and you maybe you pick out one and then it says, okay, please bring this toy to this location? So actually how it works is every <clears throat> child with their parents fill out their profile they already get to pre-choose pre five restaurants that they would like to go to in their geo area okay. or five and five businesses. So they basically have 10 locations within their geo area that is mm -hmm. within minutes of where they live to make okay. it convenient. So when a child picks a brand new toy that was put up by another family, mm -hmm. then a push notification goes to that family that put up the toy and says, hey, congratulations, the toy's been chosen. Here's the list of restaurants that you can choose from based on the chosen restaurants that mm -hmm. that child picked. They pick one of those restaurants. The restaurants have bags already at the restaurant. So the parent goes, puts the toy in the bag and explains to the person in charge at the front desk and says, you know, I'm dropping off this toy. There's tablets at the restaurant, kind of like a reverse to go order, like mm -hmm. a DoorDash or a Grubhub. Okay. They click the tablet push notification goes to the family to be able to come and pick up the toy and they come and pick up the toy. Okay. And then when they pick up the toy digitally, automatically that free kids meal is on the parent's cell phone. Okay. So 
Um, I, I guess the part that I'm questioning uh, is the person that is giving the toy, the family, the mm -hmm. kid, do they just go out and buy any toy and then put it online saying, you know, this box of Lego is now available? Right. Is that how that works? There's actually two I ways. Because I guess I'm, I'm wondering if a bunch of kids who want that toy are all kind of vying for it. How right. does that so work? So there's two, two ways. One, <clears throat> primarily the goal is, because it's all year round, mm -hmm. is that kids are taking their used toys that they don't play with anymore. Okay. So the kids that are putting the toys up are the kids that are taking their actual toys that are no longer playing with to put okay. up as a used toy okay. for these kids to choose. Now, during the holiday season or whatever the case may be, there's going to be gracious givers, which are people that are 18 and over, which could be a parent or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or they may not have kids, and they can go buy new toys and put them up for kids okay. to choose. Okay. Now, as a gracious giver, the gracious giver drops off the toy, but they don't earn a free kids meal. I know sometimes right, right. people are like, oh, but I wanted the free kids meal. Yeah. But it, it's not the case. It's all about the kids. Okay. And at that time, you know, they also earn points for doing these things. And that's what's really awesome about this because there's an entrepreneurship to it. Mm -hmm. So 70% of the points earned is based on task-driven scenarios. So putting up a toy, taking a toy to a restaurant in a fast capacity, uh, you know, sharing the app with someone else. They earn points by doing this, and then those points turn into free haircuts, movie passes, things like that. Okay. So imagine a seven-year-old, you know, daughter or son mm -hmm. come up to their parents and go, Mom, Dad, I think I have enough points for my, my haircut. Can I pay for my own haircut? Yeah. Is that happening in our society <laughs> at this time? <laughs> Probably not. <but laughs> no. So this is something that yeah. we're trying to change. So there's a yeah. lot of things that we're doing that actually is going to change a lot. The two primary things we're changing is one is every kid gets to choose. Yeah. The second thing that we're changing is every kid can now become a giver. Okay. And that is astronomical. Now, as far as the people, uh, the, the families that are choosing this, how do you get the word out to them? So ultimately, you know, it, it, what's the best advertiser in the world? word of mouth. Mm -hmm. So ultimately we set it up to where we're dealing with schools and churches okay. and organizations and we have a lot of people, you know, mom blogs, you know, TV shows like this, you know, dealing with a lot of grandparents. This is a great way for everybody to share this, you know, new app that will hopefully inspire kids to change the world. Okay. And uh to get the app, uh, both for um, Apple and Android products? Yes, it will be, it, and we're launching it in January. So the actual app launches in January. Okay, so it's not available now. It's not available okay. at this very right. minute. Well, that's why we're doing our second toy drive, because we want to raise another $50,000 worth okay. of toys. Okay, so at this point, it's toy drives you're exactly. doing. Exactly. Right, so we're, 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 it's like our inventory. So okay. hopefully when we launch the app in January, we'll have over $100,000 worth of toys okay. to give away. Got it. All right, very good. And, uh, you know, when the app comes out, let us know. Absolutely. I would love to come a follow-up, actually, maybe during the summer or something, and really Sounds kind of good. say, hey, we're live, we're ready to go. All right. Very good. Daniel, right. thank you very much. I appreciate your time, and thank you for having me on the show. Yeah. I like to have you, people like you on and doing good things. All right. And one last thing real sure. quick is, you know, we are, you know, asking for volunteers. Mm -hmm. And... We also, so a lot of the village people can work from home and make phone calls for us and stuff. And actually, we might be able to compensate them for that too. Okay. Very good. Thank All you, right. Daniel. Thank very you. Much. Have a blessed day. We'll be right back.